Well, I was on this thing till about 1.30 this morning, so I'm about to give out today, but I made really good progress, so I ought to be able to knock this thing out pretty quick today. About the only thing that I have left to do on this run right here is to go ahead and put in these, these uh, metal balusters here. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to just come in here in between each of the wooden balusters and find dead center on top and bottom and come in here with this Forstner bit. It's a 5 8 inch Forstner bit and just bore holes all the way through. I guess you could use a drill bit, but these Forstner bits will make a nice clean hole. It won't tear out the material. So let's go ahead and get started on, on putting these, these metal balusters in. Okay, so I've marked dead center in between these two wooden balusters and I'm just gonna go ahead and bore that hole right now. So what I gotta do now is get these balusters in here and get them laid out and uh, you know get them centered up real good so that they're all in the middle and they all you know look uniform and everything. Uh, the way that you do that is I'm just gonna stick them in these holes and once I get them measured up and, and centered the way I want them, I'll just come to the very top up here and mark it and then on the bottom and do the same thing then take it over to the saw and cut it off. The way, these, the way these things work is you have this little collar and this collar has a little set screw on it. And uh, once, it's, once you have it where you want to, well you just run that collar plumb up to the top and down to the bottom and tighten it up and that's gonna keep, keep the baluster in place. So for now, really all I'm wanting to do is just kind of get them in here and now now I can kind of work with it, measure it, get it centered. And once I have all that done, like I said, I'll just come up here and mark it and take it over to the saw and, and cut it off and then come back and put them in on the final installation. Okay, I'm doing the final assembly on these uh, metal balusters and I've cut everything to length and it turned out pretty good. So now all I have to do is slip everything into place. And I'm just kind of doing this by feel here. I can tell that that's not penetrating through too far, so that's, that's about right. I'm gonna snug this collar up right there just get it snug and then I'm just going to check my my distance here yep that looks pretty good right there so I'll just snug that collar down then I'll take this one run it up to the top need to remember to turn it in the right direction and there it is. So there is our finished assembly. Uh, what I'll do next is I'm going to come in here with that handrail. I'm going to lay it in the slot. And I'm probably just going to put just a little smidge of glue in that slot because this will be permanent. A little smidge of glue, let it set up. Maybe come underneath with an 18 gauge or maybe just a pin nail. And uh, let that set up. And then all I have to do after that is cut out our pieces of track and go up there and just put the final, you know, put it in place and final assembly and we're done. Okay, everything laid into place really good and I'm pleased with how it turned out. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna run some wood glue in here in this slot and I'm gonna lay the handrail in there and then I'm gonna come underneath in about three or four places with an 18 gauge nailer and just nail it into place and let it set up for a few minutes. There we go. 
kind of changed my mind on using an 18 gauge. I'm just going to pin nail this thing and shoot it kind of an angle with a big one inch pin nail. That way I'm not going to have to deal with those big 18 gauge holes. And my logic is that that glue is going to grab anyway. So I think that'll probably, probably work okay. What we have to do now is make up this channel that's going to go inside the, the pocket that we cut in the handrail. If you remember, there's going to be a, a lag bolt in the newel post and the handrail will have this piece of channel in it. It's just going to slide over top of that and that's what's going to secure it. So what I have here is a piece of miter channel. I uh, bought it at Woodcraft. It's made by Craig. I think you can buy about a two foot stick of it for about 15 bucks. It's not very expensive. So I went up, I laid this in the pocket, in the handrail, marked out where I, where I want to cut it off and uh, marked my holes where I want to drill the holes. I'm going to use these uh, number six screws here. If you can see that. Those number six screws. So I'm going to take a 532nd drill bit and I'm going to drill two holes. And then I'm going to come back with a countersink and I'm going to countersink those holes because you can't have the head of that screw, you know, sticking up or it's not going to let that bolt slide freely, that lag bolt slide freely in the channel. So uh, once I get them, once I get all the holes drilled and countersunk, I'm going to, it's probably not the best method, but I'm going to take it over to the table saw and cut it out. I've got an old blade, it don't matter, so I just, you know, I'm going to cut it off on the table saw. So let's go ahead and do that. big heavy beast back downstairs to the shop so I just brought it in here and laid it on the bed. I guess a bed could be a pretty good workbench. I know I've done some of my best work on one. Okay so we're going to put this channel in and I'm not so worried about where the channel goes in this direction. I just want it to be straight up and down because that's what's really going to matter when it rides over that bolt. So I'm going to take a 532nd, no a 332nd drill bit and just drill a pilot hole. Try to get it real good and straight. Then I'm gonna come in with our screw. I'm just gonna hand screw this thing. And now it's going to slide perfectly over our lag bolt right here. Okay, so now we've got to go ahead and put the bolt in our newel post. I've got it laid out. I took a little extra time to lay it out just right. I'm going to drill a pilot hole and then we'll run the bolt in. We want to make sure that we drill square and straight and level because that'll be really important when we slip this track over it. We have to take a little extra time to get this lined up just the way it needs to be. 
because that track will only slip over it one way. And that looks pretty good. We may have to spend a little effort to adjust it, but uh, I think that's pretty close right there. Okay, it's a moment of truth. Got to put this thing in, see how it fits. So let's do it. Well, this project's in the books and it couldn't come at a better time because I desperately need to change this t-shirt. I'm a little superstitious, kind of like a ball player or something. If I'm into a project and it's going real good, I don't like to jinx it and change my t-shirt. So anyway, the superstition gods must be shining on me this time because this turned out really good. I'm really pleased with it. I mean, this is something that we built with our own hands. We used our own tools. You just can't go to the store and buy something like this. So we can be really proud of it. And like I've said before in my other videos, when you do a project like this, come in there on it somewhere where it won't be seen and, and write your name and, and the date on it. You know, sign your work. So years and years from now, somebody, a grandkid or somebody will know that you built it. Um, I didn't have any real disasters on this project, not on the project itself. The only disaster I had was yesterday I was uh, trying to tug a big heavy box out of my work van and I was tugging on it with those packing straps <laughs> and, and the strap broke and my fat ass went flying across the shop and I quahitas myself. Turned out really good. The only thing I need to work on is I have a little bit of a wiggle right here, a little bit, and I can take that out by turning that lag bolt and it'll draw that post into it and uh, it'll take that wiggle out of it. I don't have any concerns about this being strong because it's really strong. I don't have any concerns about it being safe. I mean, it's in there. It's not going to come out. This thing's heavy. You're not going to accidentally pull up on it and have it come out because there's that track. It's three inches on each side and you'd have to pull it, you know, even on both sides. It's not going to come out that way and it's cleated on the bottom. So it's not going to come out at the bottom. So this thing is strong and secure. I would encourage you to go back and look at my removable stair railing series uh, because this is a, there's a lot to this project. It's on the upper end of the complicated scale and there's probably more detail in that series of videos uh, than, than I put in this one. So it may help you out. Hope you, uh, hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something. Maybe got some of your own ideas. If you did like the video, remember to give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.